All right, the last uh, two that I'm going to do are on the back of the sheet. And we're going to start with number four. So I'm going to start by labeling this as the ISO, the top, the front, and then we are going to complete the side view this time. Okay, so again, just like before, I'm going to line up every line from the front view and then lightly trace it over to the side view using light construction lines. This is the top of the circle and then the top of the part goes all the way to here. Okay, now again, the top view usually can be projected down to the side view when drawing this. However, the ISO is in the way, so we're just going to do the best we can. So I'm gonna start by drawing the back. Remember the side view is gonna look like this, okay? Like a box going across here. So the back of this will be a solid line, an object line. This line will come up to here. And now when I'm coming over, it's gonna go all the way to this part. We're gonna come up to this line. Oh, check that, it's gonna go all the way up. There we go. Okay, so it looks kind of like this. Because I drew these, uh, uh, construction line is really dark. I'm going to erase it now so it doesn't get too confusing. And now we're going to add some hidden and center lines. Okay, so first with the center lines. The center lines represent the center of a circle, which is right here. This circle is actually a hole in the part. So center lines really show where that center is located if you're actually trying to drill a hole in the part. Okay, the center line is actually gonna go through the side view as well. So again, a center line is a long dash, a short dash, and a long dash. And it's gonna go through the top. Again, looking like a long dash, a short dash, and a long dash. The next part that we're going to do is uh, to draw the hidden lines. Okay, because we can't see hidden lines, these holes going through the top of this, uh, I'm gonna draw dash lines on the top view, lining up with the edge of the circle. I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the side view. The last thing that you can't see from this side view is this little indent, okay? It's shown in the top view. Okay, again, normally we project this down from the top view. For this, I'm just gonna estimate it over and do the best you can. Let's move on to number five. This one's a tricky one. All right, let's label the views to start. This is the front, top, ISO, side view. So the view that's missing is the side view. I'm gonna take my pencil, and excuse me, take my ruler, line it up to every single line from the front view, and I'm gonna trace it over in construction. So very light lines. From the edge of this circle, the edge of this circle, the edge of this circle, and the top of the part. All right, again, I would do the same thing with the top view, bring it down, but I'm just gonna estimate the, the, the depth. Okay, so this whole part, it's looking at it from here, goes all the way to the top, and similar to the last part, 
going to have a piece looking like this. Oh, I drew these construction lines really dark. All right, now I'm going to draw the neck of this part. It's coming up to this first line. Try to make it nice and neat and straight. That's coming down here. Okay, so this one uh, has a hole going through, and that's what these lines are representing. So you guess it, they're gonna become hidden lines. We'll have a center line, long dash, short dash, long dash. And then another hidden line. going through this part. Oh, Mr. Moyer, you really messed this one up. All right, you notice how this, this doesn't go all the way to the edge. This only goes to, to about here. Luckily, I did this with pencil. I can erase this. You crisis averted. All right, let's continue. Center line going through the front view of this circle, as well as the top view. All right, how about some hidden lines? Hidden lines going through the top view. It's representing this hole going through this top view. We're looking good. All right, there's two more circles. These are representing holes. Now, if I try to draw a center line, it's going to be right in the way of this line. Well, the object line takes precedence over center lines. So all you'll see is something like this. All right, same thing with going in this direction. Now I'm going to draw the hidden lines coming down. It's going to be in the front view right going through these parts. So I'm just lining up the ruler with the edge of the circles and bringing my pencil down with dashed lines. You'll have a center line going through here, as well as here in the front view. Now the last one is going to be the same thing. It's a circle going through the side view. Now you only have to do one because if you look at it, they're evenly lined up. So do the best you can to estimate the thickness of the hole. Then draw the center line going through. 